Hello, 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 and thank you for joining me here on Bustanet for the Champions League final between Gloucester City and Manchester United. We travel to the San Siro. <music> Uh, it's been quite a turnaround for Gloucester City. Uh, if you're looking at how the club has uh, gone through financially between 2019 to 2021, this is when we started getting into the Premiership and look at how we've done financially. We just keep getting richer and richer and richer. And uh, now the transfer budget has been handed down to us. It's 48 million. Of this 48 million, chances are uh, we're going to end up forking over 10 million for that player Cesar Lopez and interestingly enough our players are already and I was expecting this and yes people have come in and uh, Eric Kone is wanted by AS uh, by PSG he was originally wanted by AS Monaco now if AS Monaco come in chances are I'll have to release him so he's gone because that's his club that he wants to go to uh, and we also have an we also seem to have attracted the interest of Liverpool. They might be interested in Craig Lewis. Now, if they come in with an offer that matches his valuation, which is 30 million, I probably will sell him because that will be a nice tidy profit on what we paid for 17 million. And uh, I have plans on uh, boosting my strike force for next season and probably looking for uh, another Joe Hanks. So it's going to be. Uh, three players in this position that I need to look out for. So, someone for Papa Aluwon and Daye, Joe Hanks, and definitely another striker. So, we are going into the market to look for players. Uh, we'll remove him from position and put Karim Mimaja, Mamija in. And, uh, yeah. So, I wonder who's interested in Cyril Drouet. Wow. He's wanted by other clubs as well. They want him for a transfer. This keeper is not bad. Uh, we brought him in uh, early. Uh, he's uh, not playing to his full potential. Two to three star. Um, I'm looking at him for the long term as in growing with the club. And we'll see where he goes from there. But I have um, some expectations that he might turn out to be a half decent player. Uh, other than that, not too bad. Training wise, we're still doing the same routine. We're on we're currently on balance training um, at the moment and uh, we've been on tactical for a really long time I think have I not changed? no we're on balance yeah we're on balance training uh, we'll, uh, well there won't be any rest day after the match that's for sure uh, they have a rest before the match let the boys have fun relax smoke eat a, eat <sighs> start again well we've done pretty well so far this club lost the city and I'm beginning to wonder when the safe will be called and uh, I'm not too sure at the moment financially the club has done really well since I took over the club and uh, they now have a healthy balance uh, 48 million transfer budget wage budget 1.28 which is actually not far from what i'm actually spending so it's not i'm not too entirely thrilled but it's okay um as a club the club has really grown um over the years uh we haven't cracked the big four yet but our reputation is now pretty solid impressive uh training facilities well according to the board they will be improved they're expanding the stadium again uh, 24th of December 2025 the stadium will be expanded I don't know how by how much uh, youth facilities and uh, training facilities are being improved that's okay I guess uh, in terms of our tactics this season we've really only used this mainly uh, 4 2 3 one. I find that I, I enjoy these kind of attacking tactics a lot more than I do playing defensively it's more in my wheelhouse uh, defensive tactics and uh, Pep Guardiola style of TikTok football. They are nice, but after a while, uh, it sends me to sleep. <laughs> so I really like these dynamic styles of football. And uh, as far as the players are concerned, Eric Kone, well, he's wanted by PSG. As long as he's not wanted by AS Monaco, there's a chance he'll stay. But Craig Lewis, well, Liverpool are interested. They want to knock on the door and look at this player. Now, with Craig Lewis, I got him for $17 million, And they are willing 
to look at him for about at the valuation that he's got 30.5 million which tells me that hmm should i sell him now there's also a part of me that wants to sell like most of my players and rebuild the squad all over again but i don't know you know after you you played with the team for so long you start getting attachments to a lot of these players i mean look at joe hanks the guy has been pivotal to our run and he's still only 29 years old and there's so much more to offer but until we get our training facilities up there really high you know i don't know but his asking price is 2.5 million i wonder why maybe i haven't changed this yet yeah asking price is 2.5 unspecified <laughs> let's unspecify it now uh, we got pretty we done pretty well and now against manchester united uh, i reckon we'll play the same way as we've always played which is control very fluid against them that's how we played against them we're not going to change our tactic uh, or a system and i do expect united to want revenge for the fa cup final it's unbelievable that players like like uh Kone, I mean, he's new, I guess. But still, Joe Hanks, he's a favorite person. Come on, move him to Icon, man. He should be an Icon. I don't understand why he isn't an Icon yet. Our facilities are still below average, still below average. We still have a lot of work to do. Our stadium is only a 14,548 all-seater. All right, let's submit the players for the match against uh, Manchester United. We're off to the Sun Zero. We're hoping for the best... Uh, this is going to be a tough match for us to play and a lot of it will depend on the kind of players that we are facing today. Who's this? Pavon, tackling 8, crossing 16, dribbling 17. Oh no. Dembele, tackling 6, crossing 16. Both can't tackle. Dimitrov, tackling 14. If he gets up, we can cross Caraval. Okay, he... Danny Carver, we got some good players. Okay, we're going to change things around slightly. Alright, I'm going to change you to a deep-lying playmaker on support. I'm going to change you to a defensive midfielder on support. Swap. That's one thing I'm going to do. So that, uh, we got Kone on one flank. Now we got Colado on the other flank. So, maybe, because they've got two really good flank attacks. And it's like going to be very hard for me to decide which one to stop. So I'm going to try and stop both, if that even helps. Okay, so comprehensive, let's do a team talk. Team talk. Alright, go out there and impress everyone, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's the Champions League final between Gloucester City and Manchester United. Pawan is off. Oh, I was right. He's going to be a nuisance. Lo Celso plays the AM, plays it out, but Kone intercepts that. Almiro now with the ball. Tries to release Lewis, but Endaye is there. Thank you very much. Three minutes in. I'm not really expecting a magnificent win here. Um, as long as the boys put in a good effort, I'll be happy. Honestly, this United team, we were lucky to be them in the FA Cup. We had one uh, set piece and it just happened to be the one that mattered. Colado. So we have never beaten... We, that was the first time we beaten United in 90 minutes, right? So it was luck. And uh, we need to really play outside of our skins in order for us to beat United. And the way I'm looking at this match uh, transpiring, we are not able to create a lot of chances in the opponent's half at the moment. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop this pass into space. We're going to try and maintain possession because I notice all the pass into space are being intercepted by them. Dimitrov is off. We've got two players on him. He doesn't get a cross out. That's good. So we're going to have to try and keep the ball. That's it. And uh, drag this on. Pavon with the corner. It... No, okay, that's good. It's a goal kick. I just my, I was silent for a moment because um, it's going to be a shock if we go down to a goal very early in this game. Bothwick to Kone. Kone looks around, says, okay, boss is on us to pass into space. We won't. And Dai to Lewis. Lewis goes, okay, what am I going to do? Guess and Dai back into the game. Hank says, Lewis here, Lopez, what am I going to do? Lopez says, okay, Mafia, his boss says, don't, don't do the uh, pass into space. So we guess you have to cross. Gomez, Gomez out to Bothwick Jackson. This is much better. Now we're actually trying to build play up around the opponent's half and, um, yeah, at least now we're getting possession in their half as well. 
Bothwick Jackson clears that Kone in a race with Dembele, loses that, Lazarus inside the box, shoots and it's over the bar. All we need is a half decent chance. Mafia to Colado to Olmedo to Lopez to Lewis is offside. I said half decent chance. Don't have to make it stupid. All right. Lewis, will I sell him to Liverpool? Most likely. Kone, if Monaco asks, yes, he'll go. I mean, think about it. If I can sell Kone for 40 and I can sell Lewis for 30, that's 70 million in the transfer market. That's like. The 120 I received to build a squad for the champion uh, for our first season. We did okay. 120 million when I got promoted was my transfer budget. I don't Jesus Christ, that was huge. Olmedo to Lopez to Hanks, and we were able to build a team almost from scratch that could challenge for European honors. Cavahal to Pavon. So the English clubs are just too rich. Lazarus. Lazarus comes away, shoots, and uh, that's going to be a corner now. Gloucester City and Manchester United still goalless inside the first quarter. Pavon, nah, headed wide. We're going to stay on control fluid. If anybody is wondering why I haven't gone to overload yet, no, I don't plan to. I plan to stay on this at least for the first half. Because look at what United are doing. They haven't had a shot on target yet. So they may be getting in around our area, but I just want to hold on, you know. If we go down a goal, yes, I will change. But so far, I'm beginning to get a bit concerned, though. Hanks with the ball out to Lewis. Lewis, no support. Too slow. Uh, control very fluid. But if I go attacking fluid, I, seriously, what am I going to do? This is United. They are good. Pavon. I've yet to beat United playing an overload strategy. They, they will punish me. Dimitrov to Pogba. Pogba cleared again. Mafio clears the ball. Dimitrov now with a chance. Dembele, Colado, Hanks for Luis. No, Lindelof to Estrada. Out to Pavon again. He has to cut inside to avoid the brute known as Colado. Another corner. My word, we are defending, aren't we? There's 10 shots on us. Pavon. Kone. Pavon again into the box. Estrada. Johnston. Safe and sound. Okay. Uh, long boot up. Lewis. And Daye to Hanks. Hanks plays a simple pass to Lewis. Lewis goes, says, Okay, who do I pass it to? You idiot. Who was that running beside him? Blocked him off. Then Billy Kone wins the ball back. Lopez with a chance to counter. Lewis now to Ndaye. Hanks wins the ball back. Lopez to Lewis to Ndaye. This was a counter press. Lopez now to Hanks. Hanks to Colado. Colado to Ndaye. Ndaye shoots. Ooh, so close. Our first shot. That was our first shot. It took us 33 minutes. Well, okay. Maybe there's a chance. Carvajal, oh my goodness. I get one shot and I say maybe there's a chance. Well, I'm certainly optimistic. Carvajal to Port. No, 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 no. Okay. Johnston. Okay, boys. We get one decent chance. That, that one I am to be happy with. 44 minutes. We're coming to the end of the first half. Joe Hanks with a free kick. Bounces off the wall. Goes out for a corner. If we score from this, I swear to God, I'm going to run out of the house. Hanks. But then I shouldn't be too excited. Hanks. Into the box it goes. Olmedo. Olmedo comes. Goes. Gets it to Hanks. Hanks to Colado. Colado back to Bothwick Jackson. Bothwick to Olmedo. Olmedo to Bothwick Jackson. Bothwick Jackson looks for options. He finds Ndaye. But that's the end of the highlights. Alright. Not too bad. The first half. Yeah. yeah, keep it up. One, we is goalless at the moment, so the boys are doing well defensively. Lopez, Almedo, Almedo to Lewis. Loses the ball. Dimitrov. Manchester United are still playing the same way. They haven't really changed. So I'm not going to change, not yet. Sergei Gomez to Kone. Kone to Almedo. Almedo dribbles. Finds Hanks. Hanks to Lewis. Lewis 
No, 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 Lewis, you don't shoot, Lewis, you pass. Okay. Craig Lewis is 6.4. Is this the time for Will Greg? That's the question. Do I bring Will Greg on? Let's look at Craig Lewis. Well, if second, if it if this match goes into extra time, yes, I will bring Will Greg on. Borthwick Jackson to Gomez to Mafio. Mafio to Ndaye. And it'll be the worst thing for Craig Lewis. Colado, Olmedo. If I take Craig Lewis off, it's like, mm, he, he scores his spectacular goals from range. So we'll, maybe we'll keep him around for a while. Okay. 6.0. No, Dimitrov with the free kick. And into the wall. Hand, safe hands of Johnston. Now oh, this game is really dragging on. Kone. Out to Dimitrov. Back to Dembele. And Stensil manages to Pogba inside the box to Celso. Celso shoots and he scores. Manchester United have finally broken the hearts of Gloucester City. Yes. We'll have to do a lot better. United. Los Celso scoring from range. Well, we haven't really played very well. I mean, we did okay, I guess. But this United team are strong. Smashing that in. We have to do something ourselves now. Kone with the throw to Bothwick Jackson. Plays it back to Gomez. Gomez now to Ndaye. Ndaye dribbles, gets it to Hanks. Hanks into space or Lewis. Lewis is off. Takes the first time shot. Forces De Gea into a... Save, we have a corner. Come on, boys. You have done enough of this in the... A... No. Almedo will have to chase this up. He has to... You have to pass it to one of the boys. Come on. Okay, Mafio. Oh, no. They brought on Gerardo Villa. <laughs> this guy is good. All right. Uh... Okay. It's time to take off the ineffectual Craig Lewis and bring on Will Greek. Free kick, power one to take it. Johnston makes a routine save. How did we get nine shots? I don't know. The game is definitely misleading me at the moment. Okay, 78 minutes coming up. Gloucester City still trading United by a solitary goal. Hanks, he's been muscled off the ball by United. United come away and Endaye tries to get the ball off them, but ah, it's close. But no cigar. Gloucester City still zero. Manchester United one. We are looking for the elusive equalizer. Pavon. And it's well wide. Gloucester City. I'm a bit disappointed, but hell. Can't say it wasn't um wasn't unexpected. I mean if I really wanted us I mean if you think we can do the double on United after failing to beat them in four seasons, that's like wow. What the hell happened to us? Okay. Gloucester City 0. Manchester United 1. Here we go. Go kick to Bothwick Jackson. There's still some time. Lopez. Into space. Or Will Greig. Will Greig inside the box. Oh. It's a corner. Robbed right at the death. Next. We have another set piece. Joe Hanks will take this set piece. So Colado. Colado launches it. Estrada puts it out to touch. United are all behind, all back behind defending. Hanks goes up, Bothwick. It's a penalty. Unbelievable. We have it. It's a penalty with two minutes left on the clock. This is crazy stuff. Oh no, Will Greek is on fire. We have, oh my lord, against a run of play, we got a penalty in. Sai, oh, with, oh man, unbelievable. I don't know what to say. Will Creek has gotten us back into the game. Oh, he's come good. Will Creek, this got us in, back into this match. I was already, okay, that's it. You know, thank you for coming for the final, all my fans. Thanks for watching the show. Unfortunately, we have to say Arrivederci to our dream. Colado to Endaye. 
here come United. They want to win this in 90 minutes. That's for sure. Ben Stiesel. Okay. Gloucester City 1. Manchester United 1. This match is not looking like it's going to finish anytime soon. Big one. Borthwick Jackson. Lopez with the ball. Lopez has a chance to launch one. No, he doesn't. Kone. Ben Stiesel. And he's offside. Referee looks at his watch. He's got to call extra time very soon. Johnston, long boot out. And Hanks wins this back. Lopez, Colado, Bothwick Jackson, Olmedo. How much time is he adding on? Lopez must be due to the penalty. Will Greek, Endai. Will Greek is offside. Plenty of yellow cards on the pitch now. Gloucester City 1, Manchester United 1. Okay. Let's sit. Keep working, boys. Keep working. Pogba, this is, we've gone to extra time. Los Celso. Out to Pavon. Pavon to Villa. To Dembele. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do? I go attacking very fluid. Okay, that's it. Enough. No more overload. Kone out to Endaye. Endaye. Pogba. Kone. Joe Hanks is there. They're all there. Lopez to Will Greek. Will Greek out to Mafio. Mafio inside the ball. And I shoots you, beauty. Close for two. You like the one. <gasps> In extra time, we've scored. That's number. And I has scored. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. Will Greek played a pass to Mafio for once. Mafio got his cross right. Lands it for Ndaye. And we have got our equalizer. No, we have not. We've taken the lead. What am I saying? I've lost the plot. Mafio. Oh, Wednesday. So we have to defend this lead now. No more pass into space. Retain possession. Come on, boys. Get all. Oh, no, no, no. no. Come on, Wednesday. Sale. You cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to us. Johnston. Okay. Wait. Is this the first half of extra time? Yes. We still have one more half to go, boys. So this is not the time for us to lose the plot. Okay. They've gone into a 4 2 3 1. Dimitrov. Kavahal. Kavahal to Dimitrov. And. United have leveled the matches too. too. <laughs> this, I mean, it's fair. You gotta admit it's fair. All right. If you had stolen this from United, it would have been injustice of the highest, at, <laughs> highest order. Dimitrov, what a cross back into the box, and the boys lost their concentration. Then Bailey, all right. Okay, is we at least we can force it into a penalty shootout, right? So let's not, no, let's not forget that. Start extra time a second half. Lopez, Hanks, Olmedo. Boswick Jackson to Kone. Kone to Hanks. Hanks to Colado to Endaye. They played well, these boys. We didn't go down without a fight. We took United all the way. That's it. All the way we've taken United. We've taken them to extra time. Not all the way then. I mean, penalty kicks will be all the way. We're still happy with them. Dimitrov. What? Via comes charging in our players. Shoots. Ah, it's well wide. We're going to start thinking about the penalty takers as well. <laughs> Do I need to substitute anybody who's a penalty taker? Okay, penalties, five shit. Penalties, nine shit. Cameron penalties, three shit. Eric <laughs> Kone penalties, oh god, six. Oh god, five. <laughs> Dear lord, nine. <laughs> Papa, five. Joe Hanks, ten. Cesar Lopez, twelve. Okay, well, we'll get 17. Adam Webster. He's four. Ryan Hardy. Okay, Ryan Hardy can come on. He's 17. So Ndaye can't take penalties. Alright, we'll take we'll bring Ryan Hardy on for Ndaye. That's actually a good substitution to make anyway. Because um Papa Eluan and Daye and Ryan Hardy are straight swaps for each other. Okay, we we entering we're entering uh yes, it's a penalty shootout. Auto pick Will Greek, Ryan Hardy, Olmedo, Cesar Lopez, Sergey Gomez, and Joe Hanks. Okay, I can't bear to watch this. Okay, let's start the penalty shootout. Gloucester 2, Manchester United 2. Alright. Ah! We saved one. Will Greek! <laughs> United missed the first penalty. Will Greek has converted this. Alright, who's this? Pavon. Pavon against Johnston. He saves another one! Johnston saves two! <laughs> Hardy, come on, Hardy, score. He scores. It's two goals from the boys. Yeah, Villa, Villa. Ooh, Johnston does it again. It's 
three. Olmedo. Oh, he saves one. Come on. We, we just need to score one more. Come on, boys. Score one. Score one. Pogba. Okay, he scores. But we still, you know, we're still leading this. We just have to score one more penalty. Come on. Lopez. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, it's saved. Okay. This is it. United have to score. Carvajal. He scores. Carvajal scores. And now the all the pressure is on Sergei Gomez. Sergei Gomez with a penalty. It's saved by the keeper. Okay, it's level. First one to miss. Dimitrov now. And it's saved. Another save. Joe Hanks has it to do. Oh my God. Poetic justice. This is the most beautiful day in the history of Gloucester City. The boy from the conference has scored the winning penalty in the Champions League. What a story! <laughs> oh my god, I don't believe it. It's a phenomenal story. Joe Hanks has scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. Look at the stats. We robbed Manchester United. We FM Manchester United. <laughs> Oh my god, this game went to the wire. Oh my goodness. Gloucester City celebrate a double and deny United a double themselves. United now have to settle for the league title. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. On a warm spring evening at Sun Zero, Gloucester City Sergei Gomez lifted the Champions League to complete a fairy tale journey for the team. Look at this. In the shootout that followed, it was left to attacking midfielder Joe Hanks to keep a cool head and smash home the winning penalty for Gloucester City. Oh, did we got to grab this story too? Ding ding. Ding ding. I'm so happy. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. I'm ecstatic. In the news today, Gloucester City hit by Champions League fever. Gloucester bought ecstatic with the win. Web in disbelief. Gloucester to receive 12.1 million. Okay. League review. Gloucester City Association FC have been hailed as the outstanding team for not only reaching the final but also lifting the Champions League. Wow, this must be disappointing for United. They are certainly going to be pissed off at Gloucester City. I mean, look at this. They won the title. What will this do to our reputation club? Oh, our reputation has gone up. Now we have a continental reputation. And our continental reputation. We have a continental reputation. Now people around Europe have, do fi have finally heard the news that there's a new little small boy in town. Season preview. Okay, this is it. Gloucester City are now 45 to 1 favourites. At the start of this season, we won to 1,000 to 1, but we've now gone up to 41, 45 to 1 favourites. That's a, now we're mid-table side. That's not too bad. We have seen the mountain, we have reached the mountain, and we have climbed the summit. I can't believe this. I'm still sitting down here, staring at the screen, and wondering what the hell is going on. Gloucester City have defeated Manchester United to lift the Champions League. We are the FA Cup winners. We are the Champions League winners. And we don't know what to do next season. <laughs> Alright, so I'd like to thank everyone who has been following this series on uh, Gloucester City. I'm still thinking of what to do next season. Do I continue with this save or not? I'm not sure. I mean, I get too attached to LLM saves, right? So, and it can be consuming, all consuming. So it's, now look at the estimated value of the club now. It's 432 million. I mean, I, I have a target of taking this, making this, I had a target of making this into a billion dollar club and we've already reached 432 million in quite fast. I mean, I'm pretty certain that in another four seasons, there'll be a billion dollar club. That's not too hard to do because uh, if we can keep this kind of performances going, of course, you know, if they can get into the Champions League, yes, why not? Uh, but it's still a long way to go. And yes, it's been a fantastic season. The boys, well, they have, uh, well, they've done it.
they beaten Manchester United finally. We beaten Liverpool finally, and we beaten Manchester United finally, and we are the champions of Europe. Well, thanks for following the series. Uh, if you have any questions on how I played the game or what I do, or why did I even choose control? Very fluid, and I think certain small little things I did helped. Like you know, moving Colado to this side, me to, to this side to make to balance things out. It may have helped, but seriously, the match was a tight match. You know, um, I don't think United deserve to lose though. But then again, who's complaining? Joe Hanks scoring the winning penalty. That's unbelievable. Well, thanks for watching the show. Uh, please drop me a note on Twitter at Busternet or addicted to fm.com, my website, if you have any questions. Until we meet again, I'd like to thank all my patrons who continue to support this channel. And it was at their insistence that I do this LLM safe. And I want to thank all of them for that too. So you guys take care. I'll catch up with you very soon. Bye bye.